I was just about to say, have you seen John? Because I've got his hoodie for him. <laughs> yeah, I see him. So there we go. <laughs> Okay, so right now I am in the world's smallest hotel bathroom attached to the world's smallest hotel room. I've been in Birmingham about an hour. I've already come to the hotel, been locked out of my room, had the key rejiggered and it still won't let me in. So the maintenance guy had to open the door so I could get back in and get my bags out and then they moved me into another room and here I am. And this room's actually bigger than the room I've just left. So, Birmingham's worst hotel. I'm not going to say the reputation's completely deserved, but I'm quite impressed so far. Now, I need to go shower. Bye. The floor's wet, I need a towel. Ah! Slipping. So, one of the problems with this hotel, <laughs> one of, is that there's nowhere for me to put my little man front toe monopod thing down safely with all the legs open so I'm going to try and put it here yeah no uh, no that's it that's it ah! my razor's attacking me yeah this ain't gonna work George Kim. Okay, that's all you're gonna see of the hotel because there was nowhere to put a camera down in the only room with decent light, which was the bathroom, um, and there was no decent light in the other rooms, so that's it. Um, I'm back home now, and, and the sun's out, and it's actually, well, I'm sat in sort of mottle shade thing, so it's a little bit chilly now, but uh, the sun's been out most of the day, and it's been gorgeous. But now I'm gonna finish my coffee, and then I'm gonna walk home. The show was absolutely incredible. It was ridiculously busy, way busier than it was last year. I did all four days at the show, I could barely move, it was that packed. And, uh, oh, it's like, you might hear that a lot if I don't get off this uh, path. Well, there's a few people I have to give a shout out to. First, Udi, you're a great guy to work with and an amazing friend, thank you. And even though we only got to hang out for one day, well worth it. Simon, <laughs> You've no idea how much this means to me. Thank you, and I will, uh, I will see you soon. I also have to give a big shout out to Lauren and Aaron and Alistair and everybody else at Smug Mug because you're amazing, um, a great company, and, and people I'm happy to call friends. And, uh, thank you for the hoodie. I might take this off in a bit because it is getting kind of warm. I also have to say a huge thank you to Callum and all the guys at Loxley for letting me store my crap on your stand on Saturday and Tuesday when I wasn't checked into the hotel. My, my back would have been absolutely dead if I had to carry all that around with me. So thank you. So I've come to a really different part of the river today and I'm all backlit and look, way overexposed. But I've come to a, I'm trying to walk in shade. I've come to a, a bit of the river that's way further up than I normally go because it's really kind of cool up here and uh, once I can get off the path and down to the water itself I'll show you. It is super super bright today. Uh, oh yeah I'm definitely gonna have to wash my shoes off in the river uh, because they're caked in about four inches of mud. It's okay the river's where we're going to now. But yeah, the show was an absolute blast. And then, like most shows, when they're busy, like Photokina was as well last year, they're just an absolute blur. There's just not enough time. I mean, the photography show, I got there on Friday, checked into the hotel, we'll, we'll get back to that. And then went to hang out with Angelina and Steena and Maria, who come over from Denmark. And, uh, on Saturday, work started, and it didn't stop until I left the show on uh, Tuesday. So part of the reason I've come out again along the river today is to continue the film project. 
because the weather in Birmingham was awful last week. And this is why I wanted to come up to this bit of the river, given how the weather is and how the sun looks, because that's gorgeous over there. And, uh, and now I'm going to get a photo. I had planned to shoot a lot more footage inside the show itself, but uh, there was just too much work to be done. And it was so busy. I mean, it was crazy busy compared to last year that you could barely hear yourself think. Everybody I interviewed or spoke to, if I was recording them on video, I had to mic them up. And uh, I, I, I didn't want to have to do that for myself for like, you know, little 20 second clips. But, uh, but I did shoot a few bits and got to meet some very awesome people. Finally, after like eight years of just loving his work, following his work, I, uh, I got to meet Joe McNally. And uh, I also bumped into Locke and Warren, formerly of DRTV, now they're at Photo Gear News. Two of the nicest guys you will ever meet in your life. But it was really, really tiring. You're working all day and then partying all night and you know, you get to sleep at like 2, 3 a.m. and then you're up at 7, shower, get dressed, go to the show, on your feet till 6, and then go out and party till 2, 3 in the morning again. So yeah, I was dead when I got home. Oh shit, eggs. Well that's cool, but got to hang out with so many of friends that I've not seen since Photokina, or even since the photography show last year. Pratik and Bella were there, I haven't seen them for a year. Uh, and everyone from Photokina was there. Joseph. Oh, Ellie. Ellie wasn't at Photokina, but I met her. I'll link it up there, the cave video. And, uh, and Clinton was there too. And I'm walking across really rough ground, so I'm gonna find somewhere to sit because the camera's getting super shaky. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I can't even get into how bad the hotel was. I mean, and, and it wasn't like, it wasn't like angry bad. It was like comical bad. It was a bit like Faulty Towers, except that all the staff were really, really nice. And I'm not saying it's Clinton's fault. Next year I'm booking my own hotel, but he did book it. Well, oh, I have to give a huge, huge thank you to Angelina uh, for letting me store my stuff in her hotel room, right next to the airport overnight. Because if I'd had to cart all that crap to and from the show each day, I'd, I'd have been dead before I got there. I got to see Lauren and Alistair from Smugmug again. I haven't seen them since Photo Kinet, and I got to meet some of the new Smug Mug guys like Aaron and there's another guy who was really cool and came out and party with us and I cannot remember your name, I am sorry. I'm sure Lauren will give me a kick and tell me what it was. I met Misha and Hazel and Ruggles and Mark for the first time. I've been speaking to them all online on Facebook for years and years and years and we've never met face to face before so that was really cool. Richard Turborg, amazing guy. Mr. Monday, who showed up late to his own talk. Mondays? Gotta fucking hate him. Anywho. Roy and Carol at Panasonic, you guys were amazing too. Thank you so much for the loan of the GH5. That was very fun to play with. Who else? I met so many people. Amazing. Zara Watson, I got to see Zara for the first time. And I got, I, got, I, got, I got no service, so I cannot check my feed. Oh, I have GPRS. I wonder if this will load. It's, if it does load, it'll be really, really slow. It's still not loaded. Huge thank you to Yang at Pixapro for lending us a uh, an LED light. Uh, that that was that saved our bacon filming in the hotel. Absolutely. Well, that's it from the show. Until I remember more people. Oh, Brian at Canon, you were awesome. So great getting to chat with you and get to know you. I'm forgetting somebody. I know I am forgetting somebody. And it's somebody important. I know it is. <laughs> you asshole! I told you, I've done that to him before now. So this is the camera that I'm shooting today. It's a Practica Super TL1000. And I've never shot this before, but I thought I'd load it up with FP4 Plus and, and come out. Uh, it's got a coasting on 28mm f2.8 on the front with a step-up ring and a... I, I use the step-up rings because all my filters are 77mm. That way I don't have to buy them in like 20 different sizes. So I just get 77mm step-up rings for all my lenses. Uh, but I've got a, a Hoya X0 yellow green filter on the front of this um, just to help give a bit more contrast and brighten up the grass and the trees uh, against the shadows and make things really stand out. It's a really really good filter for portraits but unfortunately I have nobody to point the camera at right now. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that that will change tomorrow. So I'm bouncing between Sunny 16 and metering with my Sekonic. Um, 
um, because sometimes it's, it's quite good, um, but like now, it's like, it's England, we, we rarely get sunny 16, really. Um, although it, it's, it's pretty, no, it's not far off. ISO 125, 125th of a second, it's like F11 and a third, so it's like two thirds of a stop under sunny 16, which isn't too bad. But I'm gonna knock my ISO in this down to 64 to account for the one stop you lose through the yellow green filter. ISO 64, 125th of a second, F8. Job done. And one of the things I've started doing, again, that I neglected to do over the show because it just wasn't time and I was busy filming, uh, was I have started to write notes down for each of my shots so that I know exactly what aperture and shutter speed they were at and how I metered. So that when I develop and look through the pictures, like I can see if if either my meter's a little bit off or if my guesstimate was a bit off for Sunny 16. Okay, that's that and that and oh right, list of people. Please reload my page. It says I have 3G. It's only one bar of 3G, but I have 3G. And nothing. So the film project at the show ended up changing slightly. It ended up being me, Richard and Chris. And Chris was only around for the shooting and Richard came back to the hotel with me for the developing side of things. Thank you Angelina for letting us film. Ah, my feet are getting wet. Thank you Angelina for letting us film in your hotel room. And Angelina is, is she's really lovely. She's like the best photographer in Denmark. She's amazing. Uh, so welcome to Angelina Devine. She's one of the best photographers in Denmark. Let's welcome her with huge applause. Well, that was Richard's first time ever developing his own film. Um, he, he shot a lot of film, but he, he's always sent it off to the lab and, and waited for it to come back. And... So it's really cool when you develop film with someone for the first time because, you know, I mean, they've always just sent it off to the lab and got their developed film and their prints back and they've never actually seen the process. And when you watch them do it themselves and you go through the developer and then the, the stop bath and then the fixer and then the final wash, after it's gone through the fixer, and then as it's going through the wash, it's, they, they, they just get more and more excited and build themselves up. And then when it's finally ready to be taken out, it's just, it's great. It's like they're little kids again, discovering something for the very first time. It's brilliant. So I've only shot four images on this roll so far, so I've still got 32 to go. So I, I, I gotta get busy. I shot around half of that roll of film now, so... But I did shoot a lot of footage at the show, just not for me. It was all for DIY photography, so... There will be videos going up soon for that. The project on shooting developing film with Ilford. So I have a lot of stuff I want to do with the film. We'll get onto subjects like push developing and dealing with reciprocity failure with long exposures, stand development, a bunch of other things. So hopefully the, uh, the film project will go a lot further than it has done so far. But I think that's almost it for this video. Uh, I am planning a trip up to Glasgow at the beginning of May to go and hang out with some really cool and amazing awesome people. Uh, some of them might have already been shown in this video. And uh, one of them, oh, one of them's Mirto. You saw Mirto in the street photography video that I'll link up that way, there. And now the sun's out again and I'm really bright, hold on. But yeah, if you fancy getting together while I'm in Glasgow, I'm gonna be getting there on the 5th, hang out, maybe go do some street photography or show me something cool that you think I should check out. I do have some plans and I've been invited to a special secret thing I don't wanna tell you about yet. If that goes ahead, it will be super, super cool. So that's mostly going to be on DIY photography, but I'm going to record a few bits for the vlog as well. We're going that side again. So I always feel like I should do a weird ending thing for the vlog, and I never do. Uh, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click the little bell so you get notified, because I'm not on a regular upload schedule at the moment. That will hopefully be changing in a, in a couple of months after I get back from the Glasgow trip. Um, but yeah, th give me a thumbs up if you want to see more, hit subscribe, whack a comment down below if you want to hang out while I'm in Scotland. Yeah, that's it. Bye.